Good evening and welcome back. This week we're playing Alaves away. We're now top of the league by five points. Got a bit of a gap now. Let's hope we can keep that continuing. Let's jump into the team lineups. So we're back to an almost fully shrunk lineup. We've had to put Vieira on the bench just because his form's down to that diagonal down. Bought in share, but as that attacking midfield role rather than out wide. Carlos Perez is going back out to the right wing. Xerxes back up top and we have also got Mihailovic on the bench again. He's scored three games running off the bench so if we want to bring someone on I think he's going to be the first guy to go to. But the season's gone really well so far. We started off really well and then we went through a dip where I think we had a few draws. Um, yeah, just had some games where we just we couldn't get anything done. Couldn't score or couldn't score enough. We were having... The games where we were scoring goals were having really bad defensive lapses, so that seems to have curtailed off and we've, we're just on a winning streak at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's going really well. It's an exception from Jair. Rice is back in place of Hitch as well. Oh, nearly 1-0. Broke to us a little bit kindly there to get that chance. Nicely played, Zirksy. 1 0. Wonderful 1 2 with Perez, who's back out wide. And Zirksy's first match back after a couple out. And he's scored within what? 10 minutes? 12 minutes, something like that. Simple 1 2, lovely finish. Six minutes, it's nowhere near. Good tackle. I mean, I don't think Mihailovic would have a long-term future at the club, but I'm a little bit... Oh, hang on a minute. Let's concentrate on this first. Carlos Perez. Ah, oh, good tackle. But I am a little bit disappointed that I have sold him and he'll be leaving in January because he's been such a hot streak and... I just didn't rate him. Good save. Well, decent save at least. It was fairly straight at him. Good defend him. We need to get this out. Oh, they made a bit of a mistake there. He is Xerxy. Now nicely out wide to Perez. Oh, and he gets tackled and sort of taken out at the same time. It's a bit of a foul by Sanum there. Yeah, I'm not going to look at that again. It was a clearly a foul. It's a poor ball. I'll take it. And she was being keeping a lot of clean sheets. Did have a match a couple of matches ago where he let in a free kick. It was a magnificent free kick. But apart from that, he's he hasn't had that much to do in the past few matches, really. Earlier on in the season, he was being called on a lot and um, came out with some magnificent saves. Fired into Perez there. And now Xerxes. Oh, behind Herrera. A nice idea. Lovely ball, what a finish. But look at that pass from Xerxes. And Bajer with a finish. Herrera gets it back, plays into Xerxes. Oh, that's cheeky, cheeky back flick there. Oh, 
lovely, perfectly weighted first time finish. That could be a contender for goal of the month on this one. So, so bad. Got away with it. And that was terrible. Flying in with a tackle there. Oh, lovely ball from Xerxy. Xerxy. Oh, he went for the flick again. This time it's straight at the keeper. I had a lot more time than I thought. Should have really taken a touch and then shot, but... Oh, lovely weighted ball. Should have been three. Really should have been. What is going on with the defence and the goalkeeper? Should have just cleared it. Winning it back again. Here's Bajet. Ah! I don't know what I did there, but I sort of half let go of the controller as I was uh, <laughs> trying to shoot there. Uh, oh, come on, that's not a free kick. Good tackle there. Poor, poor pass. And there it is. It's 2-1. Really good finish, but... That pass from Rice, I think it was, was shocking. Yeah, there, just straight at the attacker. Comes back. Defence haven't had time to reset. A nice ball there, a wonderful finish. No way they keep us saving that one. Got to do better than that in that tackle as well. Yeah, arrowed in the corner. Ah, uh, so there goes our clean sheet, and it's not looking so comfortable now. But again, that's a poor pass. Don't want that catching. Just it seems so laboured there. Don't know what's happened the past few minutes. Not taking any risks with that. There it is, it's half time. We will have a look at the stats just because of it, it being a close game and it's 2 1. So yeah, looking at the possession, it's only 53, which is obviously better than them, but normally we're around about the 60% mark. So it's a little bit down than normal. And yeah, even though we were pretty decent in that half, yeah, I think we need some improvements. That the, the last 10 or 15 minutes or so was not very good for myself. Too many poor passes. Bajer hasn't got that much left in the tank, so he's definitely going to be one of the players that's going to have to come off at that sort of 60 minute mark. He's been playing a lot, we've been playing him through, well, matches even when he hasn't had too much energy, just because he's been our star performer. And um, he's on that flashing up as well, where you want to play them. Ah, uh, trying to be too intricate, should have went for the shot with Xerxes, I think. Say one thing is my defence hardly ever win aerial battles. That's quite worrying the amount of long balls that um, 
I lose out on. Nice little tricks there. Carlos Perez gets it back. Is that a foul? It is. He's just dancing his way around. Actually get a free kick this time. Now, don't I don't really want to take this. I think I'm going to take it with Carlos Perez. Oh, way over. Absolutely just smashed it there. Bit of space for Carlos Perez and he gets it back. That was poor though, just ran into the uh, defender pretty much. Don't know what that was. We're going to make some substitutions now. So we are going to have to bring Bjer off. But we've got Fabio Vieira coming on. who's on a slight down. Harrington's coming on for Herrera just to give him a rest. And once again, Mihailovic is going to be playing up top for the last 30 minutes or so. Give Zirks a bit of a rest. He's been he's played really well. I wouldn't be surprised if he's man of the match. Assuming we win this match. Can Mihailovic keep that streak continuing? Easy take from the keeper there. Could have a chance to get it out quickly. Nicely played. There's not really anywhere to go. That's got to be a foul, isn't it? What a finish. Oh my word. It's Mihailovic again. I, I can't actually believe this. Oh, why have I sold him? Oh God. Uh, that is clinical. Absolutely clinical. I think it's his first touch of the ball. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm good. I've sold him now. Like I say, again, he wouldn't be the long-term solution anyway. And he's done us a job whilst he's been here. Nice play from Perez. I still think that was a foul. Oh, I couldn't quite get on that. Oh, good tackle. Mihailovic again. And he scored another. Wow, that's five and four matches as a sub. It was a, a nice tackle from Vieira. And then I think it's Harrington that comes in. Nice ball across and a simple finish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Harrington there. Again, a lovely finish though. If anyone's watching and wants to uh, start a master league career, don't sell Mihailovic so quick. 
Give him a go. And I've said this in previous Pez series, and I'm sure I said it earlier in the season. There's something about Pez which is so wonderful that... Hang on. I'll continue in a moment. Oh, that's not what I was trying to pass to. I was trying to pass back to... Vieira. Anyway, there's something so wonderful about uh, Pez that you can have multiple players with very similar stats and they all feel different. And for some reason, some players, even if they're not great technically... Oh, the shot can finish. I actually thought it was offside, you know. Oh, that's bad. But yeah, Mihailovic, you look at his stats, you know, he's not great, clearly. Um, and with some of the other sort of default players that we've got up top, like Gios and a couple of others, very, very similar stats, but it feels so different. He just feels much better than his stats display. Nearly a brilliant ball there through to Harrington. Just overhit slightly. Gets it back here though. Hounton. Oh, I should have got Carlos Perez in there. Don't know how he didn't. It's nearly full time though. Here's Mihailovic. Carlos Perez. Oh, lovely save. Really well saved. And there it is, 4-1. But again, Mihailovic, the star coming off the bench. And that possession crept up a little bit from half-time. I think it was 53%, went up to 59. 10 shots of 8 on target. A little bit disappointed we're letting a goal, but it was just some poor defensive lapses, and it does happen sometimes. And some really good rings. I haven't looked yet, but I'm pretty sure Mihailovic is going to be man of the match. And he is. No surprise there, but um, it's getting quite ridiculous, this streak. And we're still five points ahead of Laganes, who must have won their match. Levante are slipping down the pecking order. But there it is, another episode gone, another win, another couple of goals from Mihailovic. Great stuff. Next match is against Villarreal B team, and that's at home at La Rosaleda. There's only three matches left in December, and then after that, the January transfer window will be open. Really looking forward to it. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to make too much headway in that. If we have a very quick look, our salary budget's only 404000 which is very low. The transfer budget isn't really a problem. Now, depending on what funds we get in at the end of December, because your funds, like tickets and things like that, I think come in monthly, so we'll get a little bit of a cash pot coming in but I just don't think it's going to be enough to let us get another player. Might have to look at the youth team, who, again, still have salary that you have to pay, but they're on the low end, so might have to get a couple of youth players in. But as always, thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.